Hey, what's up guys, it's Cypher. We have some big Fortnite news for you guys today. Fortnite potentially returning to iOS and some big news about the Galactus event and season five. So stay tuned. If you guys enjoy these update videos, make sure you like and subscribe and use creator code CypherPK in the item shop. Shout out to everybody who uses my code. Let's jump into it. Ladies and gentlemen, to start it off, as you guys know, earlier in the year, we got a little bit of a leak that a Joker Poison Ivy Rex skin was coming to the game. And now we have a release date for this skin. And it's going to be releasing November 17th. The thing is, uh, that's also the same day as the uh, Fortnite 14.6 update. So we're going to have a lot on that day the 17th is going to be a pretty pretty big day and that's coming up in about the next five days so i'll be sure to make an update video on the uh on the patch and everything else Woo! so big day for fortnite on november 17th big big skin pack coming out plus a update speaking of skins venom has been confirmed uh he is going to be a, a big skin similar to Brutus. And he's also going to have a uh, mythic ability. Probably going to drop in the Stark drones. So I'm excited to see that. Venom's a really cool character. And I'm um, excited to see how they kind of implement him. So with this update that's coming up in the next five days, uh, I do believe we might get uh, Mystique's mythic uh, dual pistols. There's been a couple like leaked potential uh, mythic weapons. We saw, we saw like mystique dual pistols and then we saw like a like a heavy mortar like rocket mythic and there's you know a rumor that they're going to be coming out in the next update because they've been in the game files for quite a bit now we've talked about them in the past so it makes sense for us to get them uh, pretty soon before season five and i do have some information about season five that i'm gonna get into later in the video so stay tuned for that the next gen consoles came out and there has been some pictures released about how fortnite looks on the next gen consoles and they're pretty insane like you can see the in this picture the clouds look really cool and uh the graphics look amazing so fortnite's gonna look a lot better on the next gen consoles uh so be on the lookout for that that guy was afk that's really good for me though because i need this purple pump and the new battle bus there's gonna be a battle bus update and they're not gonna just change the battle bus for no reason this probably has something to do with the, the event that's going to be happening uh, fairly soon. Uh, and like I said in the past, this event's going to be the biggest event Fortnite's ever had. This is this is coming straight from Epic themselves. They said that this is going to be the largest event that they've ever done. As we approach the end of the season, it makes more and more sense that this season is going to be like a two-part season. Like everything's not going to be wrapped up in the Marvel universe and the Fortnite universe uh, in just one season. I think. This is just the beginning of a long story. And I feel like season five, hello there. I feel like, see, wow, he had a gold pump and everything. I feel like season five is just going to be a continuation or the second part of this story against Galactus. I feel like we're not going to defeat Galactus necessarily in season four. And season five is going to have huge, huge changes to the game and to the map uh, when it's all said and done. Uh, it's just shaping up to be a really epic like finale and I don't think we're gonna get that finale at the end of this season something big obviously is gonna happen but I think the main sauce is gonna be the end of season five storm's gonna close here soonish so I gotta be kind of cautious oh I played this guy really well uh, the countdown has also been leaked. The countdown for the uh, Galactus event this season has been leaked. Uh, and, you know, that's probably going to happen very soon because uh, season five uh, is scheduled to come out November. No, December 3rd is when season five is scheduled to come out. I'll be taking that from you. I'm thinking the countdown might start when the 14.6 update with the Joker skin pack and whatever mystique weapons we get uh, potentially with that update. I think that's when the countdown will begin. Um, Galactus, by the way, he's he's huge. He's massive. He's getting bigger and bigger. And uh, 
He is he is the biggest thing that has come to Fortnite. Uh, the artist creator said that they had to make sure the resolution was really high on him, and it took a long time to put him in because of how big he's gonna be uh, in the event. So you can now get two months of Disney Plus for free through Fortnite, which has a lot of people thinking that Fortnite is planning to incorporate some Disney IP into the game. Uh, one thing in particular is the Mandalorian. There is a gun that's in the game files that kind of somewhat matches uh, a sniper rifle from the Mandalorian, which is making people think that that's going to be the case, that we might see some Disney or even more Star Wars stuff coming into the game uh, with this partnership that Fortnite and Disney uh, have where you can get free Disney+. Plus. On top of that, at the beginning of Season 5, Gref G uh, is probably going to have his skin. He was one of the uh, creators that was confirmed to have an Icon Series skin way back in the day. They'll probably have some sort of tournament like they did with Lachlan, where you'll be able to uh, potentially get his skin for free by doing well in a uh, tournament. And then after that, um, they'll eventually sell it in the item shop. So Season 5 is going to have a lot of Christmas themes. Obviously, it's going to be November, December. Um, which means we are probably going to get the gingerbread renegade raider skin that was uh, leaked in the game files, uh, you know, a month ago. We're probably going to get that uh, in season five. And like I said, iOS players are potentially going to be returning to Fortnite using the NVIDIA now where you can play games and load it up on a cloud service, which would be re really interesting to see how that turns out because uh, we haven't seen like a lot of success with Google Stadia and their cloud service. Uh, we'll have to see how Fortnite is, e if, if it's even going to be on the NVIDIA service, because there's a chance that it won't. Oh, the laser was too much. So usually with these kind of cloud services, there's going to be a little bit of lag involved. So it might not play as well as you think it will. We'll have to see. Get out of my face, bro. Come on. Fortnite also announced some sort of monthly pass where you can pay like between $12 to $18 a month and you'll get like V-Bucks every month. Plus you'll get access, early access to skin packs. That's going to be added to the game probably pretty soon. It'll be interesting to see if it's worth using or not. I don't know if, I don't know where this player is, but I don't have any mats. Oh, he is in front of me. Okay. There we go. GG. A lot of information packed into this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Is season five the end of chapter two? Are we going to jump into chapter three at season six? Or are we going to go the full 10 seasons like we did with chapter one? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.